Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a couple easy coin games. Uh, the first one will be football, and the second one is hockey. And all you need is one quarter for football and three dimes for hockey. And so all you need is a quarter for the first one. Uh, you could use a loony or a toony or something bigger than a quarter, but uh, usually it's just with a quarter. And you can use any size of table. Uh, like a harvest table would be good. I used to play this in high school. We used to big, use the big library tables or the big cafeteria tables. And you can see I'm flicking the coin. You can determine how many downs you have. If it's Canadian football, it's three downs. See, there's the kickoff right there. There's the first down and the second down, third down. And can I get the fourth down? No. So I have I lose that opponent if I was playing against somebody doesn't get the point. So there's the kickoff, and one, two, three. And what you have to do is get the coin on the edge of the table. It has to be dangling. See, I tried it there. I tried to flip it up, but it wouldn't work. So there's the first down, second down, third down, and fourth. And if I can flip it up, there, it's six points, and I caught it. You have to catch it to get the six points. And then this is the one-point conversion and you would throw it through a field goal like that. And so here's a close-up of a touchdown. This is what a touchdown would look like. It took me three downs there. I kind of pushed it just to make it. And it has to be hanging over to the point where you can flip it up and catch it. If you can catch it, then it's a touchdown. If you can't catch it, it's not. And then this is for the one-point conversion. You put the coin underneath your finger and spin it, and then you have to catch it with both thumbs and then throw through the upright with both thumbs. So you can see here, it's another attempt at me there. That would be a touchdown. And if you fail, so right there, for instance, if I failed and the, the coin were to drop, that would be, it would only be counted as six points. It wouldn't be the seventh point. So because I flipped it up over the side of the table uh, and caught it, that, that, that counts for six points. But then for the one point conversion, you have to flip it, and if I don't catch it or any reason the coin falls, it's, it doesn't count for the one point. So right here, I catch it, and then I have to keep my hands planted where I caught it and just shoot it, so to speak. And so there's two types of uprights. You could have that type of upright, or this is the harder one because it's smaller. So a beginner would do the other set and... Here you can see I used a prop to, or a helper, to do a touchdown. So there, and then actually I was short. So that would not have counted as a point. So you see I try again, and I get it. That's a point. That's, uh, so I would have seven points. And then each person alternates to see if they can shoot to get um, a touchdown. So now we're going to go with hockey. And so for hockey, you could set up two goals. I use the quarters here uh, to set up two, two uh, nets. And I used to use pennies for this, but pennies for the hockey game itself as the pucks, but pennies don't exist anymore. So it, I would say dimes are better to use, and that's what I've chosen here to use. But you realistically could use quarters or whatever you need, whatever you have. Uh, nickels, dimes. So I chose dimes because they're small like pucks. So there, I've set up two goals. And right after this, I'll show you an alternate way. You can also just use your fingers, your pointer finger and your baby finger and put them on the table. But, okay, so basically you have three, you have set it up three ways uh, where all coins are touching each other, one at the back and two at the front. And then every time you shoot, the back one has to go through the other two. So in that case, I failed in the first attempt. So they're all touching, I shoot. Now that one has to go through them all, and I score. That, that counts as a goal because it went between the, the posts. You could also do a kickoff like the uh, football game, but uh, you know that's optional. So there, now the left one. Now that one has to go through. So the back one always has to go through, and there I scored again. So I scored another goal. So regardless how you hit it, the coins, the back one, whichever one is the farthest away from the goal, always has to go through the other two, and so on and so forth. That's how you move down the ice or the pitch. So, And uh, if you can't, then you lose the turn. 
And so for instance, this one, I have a clear shot and I hit the post, so it doesn't count. So uh, I forgot to mention a variation for the, uh, the hockey, or for, sorry, for the football. If you wanted, you could uh, use the first kickoff where you hit it with the, the palm of your hand. That is your kickoff, not the first down. So the opponent would kick off to the uh, to the other person, and then that other person would get three or four downs from the point of where the kickoff stops. So there's another goal that I just scored. Um, and so there is an alternative where you can use your fingers just like that. So if you don't have extra coins or something to use, you can see the top right, my helper has, um, here I uh, play hockey to try and score. Right here, I scored. So they've put their finger, the two fingers out on the table, and uh, just as a net there. I reset right there because I couldn't possibly score. I lost. This one, yeah, I couldn't get it through. So again, I can't get it through. So it's, it's a hard game, actually. and It's kind of fun to play when you've got two people. And we used to play all the time in the library. There I hit the post in high school, and it was a lot of fun. There I still got a second chance, though, because the back one was still good. So...